How to use the top panel. This is how you navigate the top panel of the Eclipse software. Let's look at the different functions and options available to you. This is the protocol drop-down menu. Here you can change to the different protocols installed in the Eclipse software. Please note that if you have already made a measurement, you have to close the software and open it back up again to change the protocol. This function here is the temporary protocol setup. Here you can make temporary changes to your test protocol. This button is the Auto Arrange Curves button. This function arranges curves during testing for a cleaner look. This function groups waves that you record with the same recording parameters. If you click it, the curves recorded with Chirp LS, 21.4 stimulus rate in rarefaction are grouped. Some ABR measurements can be hard to read. The Eclipse software can suggest wave markers for you based on the normative data in the software. If you press the Suggest Waveform marker, you can see that it places the fifth wave marker. This is only intended as a guideline and not a recommendation. Next to the Suggest Waveform marker is the Note function. It allows you to write notes for the specific measurement. The notes are then included in the printout. This is a shortcut to your default printer. When you click this button, the measurement is printed to what you have set as your default printer. When pressing this button, two more curves are presented. These are called A and B curves. The first time you press the button, all the A and B curves are stacked. By pressing Rearrange Curves during the test, the A and B curves will be placed on top of their corresponding waveform. You can use the A and B curves to evaluate wave reproducibility, as they are recorded as independent curves. With alternating polarity stimulation, the A curve will hold all the rarefaction sweeps, and the B curve will hold all the condensation sweeps. Press the button again to hide all the A and B curves. This is the Display Contra Curve. When pressed, you can see the contralateral ear response. Click the button again to hide the contra curve. This is the talk forward function, which allows you to talk to your patient during testing. The test will pause while this function is activated. This function is the single curve view and will only display the highlighted curve, which is highlighted here. When pressed, it allows you to gain a larger display for easier visual evaluation. This gray bar shows the normative data for the fifth wave marker. You can browse between measurements with the Tab key or you can click the single curve view again to stack all the ABR measurements that you have performed. This is the split screen function that will split the display to show the right and left ears. When pressed, you have the right ear ABR and the left ear ABR here. When you press it again, you stack the ABR measurements. Click the button again to split the display to show the right and left ears. The icon next to the split screen is the Save Session and Open New. This allows you to save your recording and continue with a new session. This feature is used to continue testing with a different protocol from the drop-down list. Save and Exit saves the recording and returns you to the patient database. 
The session will also be saved in the database. However, you must make any modifications to the test results before saving the original session. Here, you can find the historic function feature. If multiple sessions are available, you can change between sessions using the arrows. Next to the session function, you can change the stimulus rate. This gives the option to change the stimulus rate to a few predefined settings. You can also change the stimulus frequency next to the stimulus rate. This gives the option to change between 0.5, 1, 2, and 4 kHz. 